Rainbow Unicorn Cat won. I just received a Dia de Muertos outfit in the mail. This is one of the outfits I was really excited about. It looks so cool and so unusual. It also looked high quality. So let's open it and find out if it was worth it. It retails at $48. I don't know how long it's going to be available. And by the way, if you're new to my channel and interested in all things American Girl but not yet subscribed, please do so. And turn on the notification bell so YouTube will let you know every time I post a new video. I usually post every Wednesday and Saturday, but right now I'm posting every day. I always post the latest American Girl news and leaks, and I also post crafts and unboxing. Wow, the dress actually looks very good. I'm so impressed with the quality. Everything is embroidered, every single flower. Originally, I thought it might have been print, and I wasn't sure if I was going to buy it. But then I heard people say that it was actually embroidery. Look how many colors and how detailed. I think this is such a unique dress and such high quality. There are so many colors in the embroidery. with a sash that is not removable. It's tied in the front and can't be untied. I like the bright color yellow, so cheerful. It also has stretchy straps on the top. I absolutely love this look. I actually think this dress is better than the one they made for the Get to Wear Dose Barbie this year. The shoes are really simple but very cute. I really like the color. It's a nice blue color that matches great with the colors in the dress. And there are stretchy straps to keep it on the doll's feet. Next is the headband. It's braided like a hair braid. There are three colors, blue, yellow, and pink. And there's a stretchy thing in the back which is great. There's also a marigold flower on the front. It's a yellow marigold. If you didn't know, marigolds are a traditional Dia de Muertos flower. The next item that comes in this set is a candle. It's pretty cute, it even has a handle for a doll to hold it. It has some marigolds at the base, and it has a yellow flame. Unfortunately, this candle does not light up. I wish it did because I don't think it costs a lot of money to produce. And there's this mask that imitates face paint. It's a traditional face paint for Day of the Dead. I think it's really cute. I'm surprised it's made out of plastic and not of cardboard. And it comes with a stretchy band so you can adjust it and it doesn't ruin your doll's hair. This set also comes with a sugar skull. They can be used to decorate a friend does. It's really cute. I wish there were more of them, but maybe I'll make more myself. I think I'm gonna paint Dollar Tree skulls. They seem to be the right size. If you want me to make a video about it, please let me know in the comments below. comes with a booklet that talks about cultural celebrations. It features all the holidays that American Girl featured last year. And those outfits are available for purchase right now. The only new one is Dia de Muertos. Dia de Muertos, or Day of the Dead, isn't a time for being sad. It's a colorful celebration. On November 1st and 2nd, families in Mexico, Latin America, and all over the world honor loved ones who have died. 
They decorate ofrendas or altars with photos, food, candles, marigolds, and sugar scolds to guide spirits home. People honor the dead with face paint or masks that look like calaveras or skulls, which reminds people to celebrate the vibrancy of life. Families visit graves and enjoy foods like pandi muerto or bread of the dead. It's a special time for families to celebrate together before ancestors return to the spirit world. This sounds like a super fun holiday. If you haven't seen the Disney movie Coco, then you should definitely do it. The events happen during Dia de Muertos, and it's a really good movie. Here's everything that came in the box, and I'm really happy with it. The quality is there, and in my opinion, it's worth the price, especially if you could get it with a discount. American Girl just had 25% off. We have Josefina in our house, so I thought it would be fitting for her to wear this outfit, since this could be a holiday that she celebrated. I think she looks amazing in it. The colors are so vibrant. It goes so well with her complexion and hair color. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you're planning on getting this outfit or you already have. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. And if you enjoy all things American Girl but not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. And turn on that notification bell so YouTube will let you know every time I post a new video. I usually post every Wednesday and Saturday, but right now I'm posting every day. I also post the latest American Girl news and leaks. I also post crafts and unboxing. Thanks for watching and see you next time!